Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. Montreal is Canada's second most populous city and its second largest by GDP, but has historically been seen as a peripheral data center market, that is, until recently. Montreal is becoming one of the fastest growing data center markets in all of North America. In Canada, Montreal is one of the top two data center markets, with the other being Toronto. Across Canada, operational data center space is roughly two-thirds retail co-location and only one-third wholesale, meaning large-scale data centers. However, Montreal is unique because it has a significant concentration of this wholesale, or as it is commonly referred to, hyperscale data center space. So why is this the case? Well, this is because Montreal and the province of Quebec have a number of unique features. They offer abundant, low-cost hydroelectric power. They have a cold and dry climate, which allows data centers to use less energy by taking advantage of the naturally colder air to cool their infrastructure. Additionally, strong fiber optic connectivity links Montreal into the United States and the rest of Canada through what is known as dark fiber. Also, the city has a low probability of natural disasters, like earthquakes, hurricanes, and tornadoes. And finally, Montreal has significant information technology and engineering talent from local universities. To emphasize, low-cost hydroelectric power is a particularly important advantage of Montreal. Power prices are typically 5 Canadian cents per kilowatt hour, equivalent to roughly 4 US cents per kilowatt hour, which represents one of the lowest prices for power on the east coast of Canada and the United States. Additionally, Montreal sources more than 99% of its electricity from hydroelectric power, which is renewable and clean power. This power is provided by Hydro-Quebec, a public utility formed by the provincial government of Quebec. All of these factors are driving a boom in demand and construction for wholesale or hyperscale data center space in Montreal. This is coming from cloud service providers who are using more data center space as cloud adoption grows in Canada. These are companies like Amazon Web Services, or AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, IBM Cloud, and Oracle Cloud which are opening what are known as cloud regions and all have deployments in Montreal. Cryptocurrency miners, particularly Bitcoin miners, are also choosing Montreal and Quebec because they need immense amounts of processing power to run their mining operations. Check out our video, Why Bitcoin Mining Relies on Data Centers to learn more on that topic. Demand for Montreal data centers is also coming from social media companies like Facebook, who has taken data center space in Montreal, content companies like Netflix, and the video game industry, where data centers are important for video game studios like Activision Blizzard and Ubisoft, but also to enable massive multiplayer online games, where 100% uptime and low latency is needed. With that background in mind, we take you on a tour of some of Montreal's largest hyperscale data centers. Specifically, we explore seven data centers from four key providers in Montreal, namely CoLogix, Vantage Data Centers, Compass Data Centers, and eStructure. As you can see from this map, these data centers are spread throughout the city of Montreal, with clusters around the city's airport and others closer to downtown. Now let's jump in and take a look at the facilities. First up is CoLogix and its MTL10 data center. CoLogix is the largest provider of data center space and power in Montreal, with 11 data centers spanning about 1 million square feet. CoLogix has a particular focus on interconnection, meaning it hosts carrier hotels, with the company controlling Montreal's main downtown facility. Also, this specialization means that CoLogix offers direct connections to companies like Amazon Web Services, or AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Zeo, and Cogent Communications, amongst others. CoLogix's MTL10 is a hyperscale data center in a suburb of Montreal on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River. 
the facility can provide 35 megawatts of critical power across 180,000 square feet. Additionally, the company has plans to expand the facility to 50 megawatts of power and 240,000 square feet. As you can see, Cologix has a substation on site, which supplies the data center with 100% renewable power from utility company Hydro Quebec. This power is then channeled into 9 megawatts of power for each data hall within the facility, with up to 30 kilowatts per server cabinet. Panning to the right, we can see the facility's generators, which support the data center in the event of a utility outage. Overall, Cologix has 10 2.75 megawatt, 3 1.5 megawatt, and 3 1 megawatt standby generators on site. Number two is Vantage Data Centers' Montreal 2 or QC4 facility. Vantage is one of the newest entrants into Montreal's data center market. Acquiring the hyperscale data center business from Hypertech in 2020 and local operator 4 Degrees in 2019. Through these acquisitions, Vantage gained customers in the video game, special effects, and movie rendering industries. Vantage's data centers operate on nearly 100% hydroelectric power, supplied by Hydro Quebec, meaning that they create very little greenhouse gas. Finally, the colder Montreal climate allows Vantage's campuses to use outside air for free cooling almost all year round. Vantage's Montreal 2 facility sits on a 10-acre site which will eventually total three facilities with 49 megawatts of critical IT load and 320,000 gross square feet of space once fully developed. Presently, Vantage has built 25 megawatts across two existing facilities with 24 megawatts of incremental capacity available by constructing one more building. Montreal 2 is fed by two 25 kilovolt feeders and a dedicated 120 kilovolt substation. In terms of connectivity, the data center has six distinct and physically diverse entrances, which connect into four Meet Me rooms. Inside these Meet Me rooms is access to more than 10 regional, national, and international carriers. Finally, you can see on screen these air handler units from Munters, which provide ventilation, filtration, and humidity control to prevent damage to the servers inside the data center from incorrect moisture levels. Less than two miles away from Vantage's last facility, located in the Techno Park in Montreal, is Vantage Data Center's Montreal 1, or QC1, facility. Montreal 1 sits on a 5-acre campus, offering 11 megawatts of critical IT load across 60,000 square feet of space in this multi-story data center. As you can see from the ongoing construction, the data center is partially operational, with 3 megawatts currently available. In addition, it has an 8-megawatt expansion scheduled for completion later in 2021. In terms of connectivity, the data center has four diverse points of entry for the campus for inbound carriers. Given the data center's location in Technopark Montreal, it targets two types of customers, both hyperscale and enterprise. Finally, here you can see the air-cooled chillers from AirStack, which help to cool the data center with outside air for up to 80% of the year. Number four is Compass Data Center's Montreal One facility. Compass is a provider that is building large-scale data center campuses for the cloud service providers like Amazon Web Services or AWS. Both of its Montreal data centers use 100% renewable power, supplied by Hydro Quebec. Compass uses free air cooling, meaning the naturally cool air outside its data centers to cool its infrastructure for 90% of the year. This Montreal One campus provides 9 megawatts of capacity across 26,000 square feet of space, supporting both hyperscale and retail co-location workloads. Notably, this campus is spread across two distinct buildings, as you can see with this first building on the right and the more recent, larger building on the left. 
This data center has backup power supplied by over 15 generators from SDMO, which is a subsidiary of Kohler. Finally, from this facility, Compass is able to achieve a PUE of less than 1.17, which is well below the industry average. PUE, which stands for Power Usage Effectiveness, is an efficiency metric that is the ratio of the total amount of electricity consumed by a data center to the amount of electricity delivered to its equipment. PUE is always equal to 1 or greater, but the closer PUE is to 1, the more efficient the data center. Next up is Compass Data Center's Montreal 2 facility. At 175,000 square feet, Compass Data Center's Montreal 2 campus offers 30 megawatts of capacity over nine available data halls. The site is located on 384,000 square feet of land with the potential for 50 megawatts of power capacity on site. As we zoom in, you can see similar diesel generators, once again, from SDMO. This data center has 18 of these generators, with each having about one megawatt of power capacity. Number six is eStructure's MTL2 data center. eStructure currently has over 100 megawatts of power capacity across major cities in Canada. In Montreal, its data centers offer 100% renewable power supplied by Hydro-Quebec. Additionally, its facilities can offer high-density computing with more than 30 kilowatts per server cabinet. This MTL2 site is located just outside of Montreal's downtown area. To create this data center, eStructure purchased the former printing facility of a local newspaper called the Montreal Gazette and spent 150 million Canadian dollars to upgrade the site. The building now stands at over 187,000 square feet and is situated on land of 490,000 square feet. The data center space spans eight data halls and 30 megawatts of total power capacity from a single substation. Here we can see the building's rooftop condensers, which provide cooling often through the use of refrigerants. Finally, eStructure provides connectivity with more than 20 carriers on site through two separate Meet Me rooms. Our last data center in this video is number seven, eStructure's MTL4 data center. Located in Kirkland, a suburb of Montreal, eStructure's MTL4 facility delivers a combination of cloud connectivity and co-location facilities with managed services. As you can see, it was formerly operated by Hewlett Packard, or HP. But more recently, eStructure acquired the data center from a company called Aptum Technologies. The entire site has a controlled perimeter access barrier, spanning over 500 feet on each of its four sides. MTL4 comprises 103,000 square feet of total space and has the ability to grow to 16 and a half megawatts of power capacity over four data halls. Currently, it is a primary utility feed of four and a half megawatts. Additionally, the facility is diversely fed from two different power substations. Finally, in terms of connectivity, MTL4 is network neutral, with access to nine carriers through two diverse Meet Me rooms. Hopefully that overview of Montreal's hyperscale data centers gave you a better understanding of how the city is becoming one of the fastest growing data center markets in all of North America. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.